So when you look at elephants at the continental level, the big picture, we, we see alarming trends. In Africa, all of our evidence is showing that in fact tens of thousands of elephants are being killed on an annual basis just for their ivory. That's, that's unbelievable. There's a situation uh, in Cameroon that developed earlier this year uh, in Bubanjira National Park that had about four to five hundred elephants in it, and the Janjaweed militia uh, came in, about 150 of them, and proceeded to wipe out about 300 elephants at least. Now, just this week in Kenya, they reported a, a seizure of two tons of elephant ivory. Now, that would equate to something like maybe 250 elephants that were killed for their ivory for that one shipment. And we're seeing these shipments being seized, it seems to me, almost every other week. In 2011, more large shipments of ivory left Africa than we've ever seen in history. Huge shipments, several tons each, showing up in the ports of Southeast Asia. Um, I, the scale, the size of those shipments indicates that this is a highly organized illegal trade. It's the same people doing this sort of crime as a, as a smuggling human, smuggling drugs, smuggling guns. We have to look at it for what it is. It's, it's organized crime on a very massive scale, killing very large numbers of animals and a number of forest strangers who are killed also. So it's another part of the crime problem. The types of products that are made out of ivory uh, tend to be works of art or, or carvings that are gifted or used for ornamental displays in, in homes. They do make fantastically beautiful pieces, but what you have to see is open your eyes and see that this piece of art comes from a dead elephant. That ivory comes from a living animal that has suffered enormously to get that piece of artwork. Some people, it's been clear, they don't even realize that elephants are killed for their ivory, that they think somehow these tusks drop off like antlers. Uh, of a deer. There is no way to obtain the ivory without killing the elephant. The ivory is a growing piece of the elephant's body. So in, in almost all cases, the elephant is shot by the poacher. And then in, as soon as they can reach the elephant, they hack out the tusks, usually using machetes, sometimes a chainsaw if they're more sophisticated. They hack out as much of the ivory as they possibly can because it's all so extremely valuable. In a few cases, the elephant is, doesn't die immediately, but is badly injured, and then the elephant is just left to die from its wounds. These are beautiful animals, wildlife created by nature. They've been there for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years, and now they're being slaughtered for money, for ornaments. I would say that is a moral outrage if ever there were one. So one of the key things that people can do if they want to protect elephants is don't contribute to the problem. If you're ever presented with, a, with an object that you think may be made of ivory, by all means don't buy that object. Be aware of the products that are available in the marketplace that are illegal, even in this country, but also when you travel abroad to parts of Asia where you see illegal ivory, for example, on sale. Be sure that you are aware that you don't buy these products and make sure your friends are aware. We know people coming together can make a difference. You know, people talking to each other, people standing out and shouting about something that's important can make a difference. So it can help us by joining our campaign. You can help us push through a number of initiatives that's going to make a difference for those animals on the ground. Come to our website, be, be informed about the issues, take action where we ask you to take action. We're trying to get leaders to elevate this issue politically, to be able to mobilize the resources, the attention we need on this. I get asked fairly frequently. Why should I care? Uh, this isn't impacting us. Does it really matter if elephants go extinct? And it, it occurred to me uh, that to some level the creatures define us. Uh, how we take care of them that defines us as uh, humans. So every other species doesn't stand a chance against us. And because we're sadly greedy as well, uh, the other species are very likely to go into extinction if we don't care. We need to care. We need to have these creatures amongst us. We need to get better as a species.